Hello, I'm Brad Eli. Today is July 5th, 2023. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Pope Francis' next doctrinal chief is defending a book he wrote as a young priest. Monday Archbishop Victor Manuel Fernandez took to Facebook to vindicate his early writing titled, Heal Me With Your Mouth, The Art of Kissing, against, quote, anti-Francis groups. The Archbishop explained, at that time I was very young. I was a pastor and I was trying to reach the young. So it happened to me to write a catechesis for teens based on what kissing means. Staying with Fernandez, the Argentine prelate said in another social media post he is not suitable to handle clerical sex abuse. On Saturday, the soon-to-be doctrine chief announced, The first time he asked me, I gave him several reasons to say no. One of them is that the assignment includes the issue of child abuse, and I did not feel prepared, nor was I trained for those issues. Later in the post, Fernandez relayed his happily accepted the post after Pope Francis told him the abuse issue is, quote, a rather autonomous section of the dicastery. The German Bishops' Conference and the Central Committee of German Catholics plans to form six working groups to implement the resolutions of the Synodal Way. The groups will focus on involving the laity in selecting bishops, helping priests who left ministry for romantic interests, blessing homosexual couples, incorporating the gender confused, ordaining women, and drafting statutes for the Synodal Committee. In, it's unclear when these working groups will be formed or how exactly they'll be financed. In a recent interview with Dom Radio, a Catholic station in Germany, Chicago Cardinal Blaise Supich discussed division and polarization in the church and in the world. The Windy City prelate claimed, Synodality represents a way for us to overcome these divisions, so I have high hopes for the synodal process of the universal church. So Beach also blamed what he called voices that contradict the Holy Father for preventing the church from moving forward. Supporters of Venerable Archbishop Fulton Sheen are refueling the cause for his beatification at a rally this Sunday. The Fulton Sheen movement plans an all-day event on July 9th at Annunciation Byzantine Catholic Church in Homer Glen, Illinois, Sheen's home state. The Archbishop's beatification process was put on hold three years ago after the New York AG began an inv investigation of all bishops in the state for cover-up of clerical sex abuse. I'm Brad Eli. Those are your church mills and headlines. Please watch The Vortex today where Michael talks about Marxism and the bishops. God bless you.